Ah, oh, funny stuff that happened like at the book study or at the meeting. Uh, thought I'd make another video of this. I was uh, watching a video <coughs> on YouTube a while ago uh, showing a little kid dancing when certain music came on. And it reminded me of some stuff that, uh, that my, my little baby boy, when he was little, uh, he's 22 now, so he's not a little baby boy anymore, but he's always going to be my baby. But uh, uh, him and his older brother, I mean, they were always clowning and always doing funny stuff. And uh, some, of the, some of the funniest things that, uh, that I've ever seen in a Kingdom Hall or in a book study were right out of these two clowns. Um, before I uh, um, even met my wife, uh, uh, she was, uh, at, the, at the time I had seen her and I had already pretty much fallen in love with her just from a distance. I just knew who she was instantly. And, um, I ended up moving to a, to a hall and uh, when she started the reinstatement process, she started attending there with her mom and uh, her little sister and uh, her little boy. Oh, I guess he was around three years old or something. He was a hellion man. He would, he would get loose. He'd get off the chair and he'd scramble underneath the seats and he'd go all across the kingdom hall, uh, very uh, stealthily between people's legs under the chairs and everything. And then he'd end up on the platform and he'd just sit up there like Indian style. You just look around and she'd get up and she'd go over. The attendant would usually beat her to the top of the platform there and then he'd escort him down and then he'd be kicking and screaming and he didn't want anything to do with that. He wanted to be up there, you know. Other times he'd run around and he'd make it to the back of the hall and shut off all the lights. Everybody's sitting there in the dark because as everybody knows, most kingdom halls don't have any windows to let sunshine in. And especially at night, he did it at night one time. That place was pitch black. I'd be over there laughing, you know, he's always one of the attendants, you know, and I would just be laughing, you know. And uh, he was always doing that kind of stuff. And uh, another time, um, um, when when my our little one was born, I had already um, s stopped attending regularly, but um, um, my wife, she really didn't want to be going either, but her mom was very insistent on picking her up and taking her to the meetings. And my, uh, my little boy, I mean, him and his older brother, they got in the car and they're, they're heading over there. And, uh, my little sister-in-law, she was all grown up by now. I think she was around 19 or 20 or something like that. And she was always over at the house and dancing and listening to music and doing all kinds of stuff. And, the kids were always hanging around with her, you know, they just loved her to death. And uh, so we, they cut in the car, they went to the meeting. And uh, my, uh, they, they started the, the song to open up the meeting, right? And uh, I don't know if it was a riff in the music or something that caught my, my youngest son's attention, but he started singing this one song. He was like, doing it, doing it, doing it right, doing it right, doing it right. And everybody was all horrified. And my sister-in-law just busted up laughing. She's like, oh, my God, he knows the nice song. <laughs> and he wouldn't shut up. That was the funny thing. He's, there. He's kind of just shaking his, shaking his booty around, <laughs> just like with his arms out. And he's just dancing like his aunt taught him to. <laughs> he's just there and doing it right and doing it right and then every once in a while he'd throw in at least I got a big old butt and he'd like throw his hips out to the side <laughs> and I mean it was like a riot in there everybody was all pissed off the elder up there was like like pointing to the attendants my wife told me and they like took him outside you know my wife's like telling him to to settle down and it was like no settling him down he was still doing it outside you know Oh man, that was funny. But one of the the the, the kicker here was uh, one time our older boy he was uh, 
oh wow, uh, my little one wasn't even born yet. I think my wife may have been uh, uh, carrying him, but uh, he wasn't born yet, I don't think. And we went to our weekly book study at uh, an elder's house. And this is the same elder that performed our wedding ceremony. And uh, he was a pretty good guy. You know, and uh, my wife's uh, next youngest brother, uh, he was uh, also an elder, and he was uh, doing the reading at the book study. And uh, they had said, you know, that they wanted some more uh, participation from the young ones. And so um, my wife helped my Helped our, helped our older boy with the uh, with answering one of the questions. It had something to do with, and we made arrangements with the elder ahead of time to uh, to call on him when he raised his hand, and he said, "Oh yeah, sure." And it was a very simple. It was just a a two word answer, and um, it's it's hysterical in in Spanish. So I'll give you a little bit of uh, um, I think the the uh, the question was who. Uh, was God's chosen people, and the answer would have been the Hebrews or the Jews. And so that's what uh, my wife had worked with him on, saying, you know, when he asks you this question, say this word, los judíos, and that would mean the Jews in Spanish. And he goes, okay, mommy, you know, and she worked with him on it a little bit here and there. And uh, so here comes a big day, brother-in-law sitting there, uh, doing the reading, elder asks a question, older boy picks up his little hand, you know. Uh, he goes, okay, go ahead, you little brother. And he said, uh, ¿Cuál es, oh, cuál era el pueblo de Dios, or de Jehová? Meaning, who, who was God's people? And our son, he said, los jodidos. And <laughs> not judíos, los jodidos in Spanish. A jodido is like like as bad as a mother f. I mean, that is like one of the worst curse words it is in the Spanish language. <laughs> and everybody's sitting there in Spanish. <laughs> and everybody was with their mouths hanging open, and I was laughing. <laughs> and and my brother-in-law, he was beside himself. He almost fell out of the chair laughing. I mean, he was just totally hysterically laughing at this whole situation. And uh, <laughs> the brother said, okay, thank you. <laughs> and they actually had to postpone the meeting for about 10 minutes until my brother-in-law could collect himself and, and quit laughing. He had to go back to one of the rooms in the back of the house and just laugh. And we could hear him from way back there just laughing hysterically. And finally he calmed down and every once in a while while he was reading, he would still chuckle a little bit when he was talking about it. But I mean, it was, it was hysterical because uh, anybody that knows my wife knows that, I mean, she's she's got a mouth on her. You know, and if she was, you know, mad at the, at the neighbor's kids for, you know, throwing rocks at the house or whatever, she'd go out there, and vole de jodidos, you know, she'd, and so the kids naturally grew up hearing the word jodido, and, uh, and so I guess he just, it sounded close enough to judios, and so he just blurted out jodidos. <laughs> it was pretty distracting there. Um, I still tease my wife about it once in a while, and she, and she just rolls around laughing. She thinks it's funny now, but she was really quite upset at the time. You know, she was going to knock the hell out of him for cussing at the book study. I said, you can't beat him up. You didn't know the difference between the two. You know, you're going to beat him up for that. But, uh, yeah, man, there's been a lot of other funny, funny stuff that has gone on at, at book studies. Like, uh, and this one, actually, it's kind of funny, but at the same time, it kind of speaks to the, uh, to the, marking policy that the watchtower has when uh, somebody is uh, not on the ins and more on the outs with uh, with the congregation or with a particular elder or whoever. Um, we went to a book study in Citrus Heights, California, and I used to call it Syphilis Heights, but uh, we went out there to the book study and uh, apparently there was a, a young couple who had a, a little daughter, and I guess they 
were on the outs with the ministerial servant whose study this this was in their home and uh, the ministerial servant's daughter uh, was gonna go uh, play with the person on the outs daughter and the older sister of the minister uh, the older daughter of the ministerial servant hollered out to her little sister no Tiffy don't touch her she's poisonous and everybody was all like what she's poisonous and then you know the mom was looking all like oh, we, I shouldn't have said nothing you know so I kind of gave that away you know they talk bad about them when they're not around but uh, yeah man it was just all kinds of just weird funny stuff I'd like it if you guys could post some of your experiences maybe put a uh, put a comment in the comment section or maybe make a response video I'd like to hear some funny stuff I just thought it's Sunday I'm lazing around there's nothing on TV but modern marvels and it doesn't even look all that great so I thought I'd uh, share something funny today um, have a good uh, rest of the weekend and a blessed week and I'll talk with you soon